Have you never? We ain't never. You ain't ever. We ain't never. Have you ever seen a short giraffe? Tell me, girls. A short giraffe? How very strange, how very daft. But do not think a baby calf can be classed a short giraffe or a giraffe that's lying down or bends his neck to sniff the ground or does the splits to take a drink or takes a seat to have a think or one who's fallen in a pit up to his neck in mud and grit. So why, you may ask, would you see a short giraffe? Because something rather silly had not been foreseen when the animals charged from the bay of a tree. When Pula's head of he smashed it on the breach. Poor giraffe was just too tall to leave the bay of a tree. So the creator cast a spell and shrunk his neck by half. And released him to the world as a short giraffe. Now Pula was a browser, so he loved to love the leaves. And being a short giraffe, he would choose the shortest trees. But Kudu Bongo Buck and Pilot Dick Dick Buck also loved to strip the trees off their low hanging stock. And there soon came a day when the only leaves to eat were rusting in. Tree tops, untouched and out of reach. Well, Pula had a face like a hog chewing a wasp. He'd not eaten for a week. He was miserable and cross. I would eat a rhino's backside to a thorny brush. Oh, to taste the tree top leaves, they look so green and lush. Fortunately for Pula, things were just about to change when he'd be eating rhino's backside by the end of the day. In a panic and a fluster swoop, the creator's trusty spy. It was the go away bird. They're all gonna fry! Blazing forest fire was raging like a beast, trapping her three fledglings nesting in the tree. But Pula didn't even give the go away a glance. He was staring at the treetops in a wishful trance. The go away flew to Pula, looked him dead in the eye. What don't you understand of? They're all gonna fray! Pula raced to the scene, it was a burning ring of fire With the fledglings trapped inside A dairy dash would be required Pula hurtled through the flaming wall Up high he heard the fledglings call But why the tree was very tall but Pula cracked, I'm just too small The tree is going to burn and fall Pula ran beneath the branches of a big sausage tree It was the only safe place from the searing heat He closed his eyes to think, I need a life-saving scheme But in a tizzy, Pula freaked and yelled a mighty scream <laughs> The ground began to rumble and the trees began to shake Pula stepped into a dance as his legs began to quake All the sausages were swaying and swinging in the trees This was no time to party Then the sausage broke free Whee! Clunk went Pula's head, ow! The sausage was like rock It was sweet dreams of Pula for taking such a knock He stumbled to the left and he stumbled to the right Stars flashed before his eyes Ooh, I like the pretty lights then Pula was engulfed in a glittering swirl of smoke. Then his neck began to grow, and grow, and grow, and grow, and grow! Pula scaled the dizzy heights! He had the fledglings in his sight! Could he save them from their plight? Pula stretched out his tongue and made a perch for the chicks. Jump on board! Blooded Pula, it was tough to talk like this. They hopped on Pula's tongue. One, two, three! Another daring dash and they would all be free! But the fire was too hot, there was no way they could leave! In despair and desperation, Pula howled another scream! Yeah! The ground began to rumble and the trees began to shake It was the marching and the stomping of the elephant parade With their trunks fully loaded, they aimed their wrinkly snouts And sprayed a watery torrent and put the fire out! From out of the smoke came Pula and the babes They were soaked to the bone, but Giraffe had saved the day! The elephant parade had one final task The creator had a message for Pula the Giraffe By mistake you were truncated in desperation Elevated for your courage Decorated with a neck all elongated You can now reach the treetops And eat the juicy leaves But do not eat a rhino's backside As there really is no need Giraffe was now the tallest to roam across the plains And this is how he stayed for the rest of his days Why of course it helped the kudu impala dick dick bok As Giraffe was just too tall to eat the low hanging stock So everyone was happy as the trees were never bare And from the top to the bottom there, there were more leaves to share So should you ever be asked Have you seen a short giraffe? Spare a thought but pull his tail and reply on his behalf A short giraffe to make me laugh Is a question very doubt For you will never Ever, never, ever See a short giraffe